Hello friends, welcome to BISPtrainings.com. My name is Sumit and in this video I will be going to give you a brief introduction on Maven. We will be going to look into what Maven is and we'll also see how to set up Maven on our development environment. So before setting up Maven, let's understand what Maven is and why it has become so popular in the open source world. So Maven, it's a powerful build tool for Java software projects or more than that, it's a project management and comprehensive tool. Maven provides developers a complete build lifecycle framework. It is based on the concept of POM. POM stands for Project Object Model. The development team, they can automate the project build infrastructure in almost no time as Maven uses a standard directory layout and a default build lifecycle. Maven can manage a project build. Maven can manage report and documentation from a central piece of information. So in a single statement, we can say that Maven is an advanced build tool to support developers at the whole process of a software project. So the developers do not need to compile the applications, do not need to build the ZAR files or the documentation files separately by using Maven they can build the ZAR file or it's, uh, it will build a complete project by a single command. And because it, it is implemented in Java, so it makes Maven platform independent. Maven can also perform related activities, examples uh, like create a website, upload or build results or generate reports. Let's talk about the key features of Maven. So the first key feature of Maven is uh, Maven is convention over configuration. And what do I mean by this? Basically Maven uses config conventions over configuration. If you have experience of any other build automation tools like and or so, uh, which uses a lot of configuration and the developers, they need to write a lot of XML code to perform automation. Maven solve that issue. Maven tries to avoid as much configuration as possible by choosing real world default values and supplying project templates, which we used to call them archetypes. It provides a set of conventions and if follow them, it easily does the rest of build for us. Build can include compiling classes, put all the compiled classes into package and then deploy them on server and perform testing. So Maven automates all the processes for us and build multiple projects together. Publish projects information, deploy projects, share the ZAR files across several projects and help in collaborations of teams. The second feature of Maven is dependency management. Dependency management, it is possible to define dependencies to other projects. During the build, Maven builds system results and dependencies. And if needed, it also builds the dependent projects. Third and the most important feature of Maven is a repository. Repository is a place where the or a directory where all the projects are libraries libraries are plugins or any other project specific artifacts are stored and can be used by maven easily the project dependencies can be loaded from the local file system or from the internet or public repositories maven projects also provides a central repository called maven central which contains a larger number of commonly used libraries or artifacts when the Maven does not find any dependencies in local repositories. It starts searching in central repository. The fourth key feature of Maven is extensible via plugins. So Maven built system in extensible via plugins, which allows keeping the Maven core small. A plugin generally provide a set of 
goals maven plugins are generally used to create zar files create war files compile code files unit testing of code create project documentation and create project records so these are the key features of maven and introduction about maven now let's see how to set up maven on a development environment so for this i'm going to set up maven on my linux system which i have already configured in my vm to know how to configure vm how to configure linux on a vm network or on a virtual machine please visit my previous video go to my previous video so let's switch to our development system or uh, virtual machine and let's start the installation of maven in linux so as you can see here i have successfully logged in into my vm player which has got linux operating system on it so first of all we'll head over to the maven website and download the latest version of maven from there so to visit the website i visit maven.apache.org maven.apache.org that's a website because maven is a apache project and here we have got a link download so i click on download before downloading maven you need to look at the system requirements for installing maven on our system java is required because java is mandatory for maven so first of all we need to check if the java have been installed in environment or not so if we don't found any java installed on our system we need to install java first and once the installation of java is done we need to set the environment path for our java which i will be going to show you how we are going to do that and uh, also will be going to download maven so i'm going to download i'm going to work on maven 3.3.9 version and i look for binary zip file and i download it i click on this link and it will start downloading the binary zip file for maven onto my system so i have already downloaded it i have already downloaded it on my system so as you can see here so i have already downloaded apache maven and it's a zip file so i have already unzipped it in apache maven and these are the files bin boot config lib and license notice and readme.txt these are the files but before we start beginning the installation of maven first of all let's check the whether java is installed or not so i click on terminal and i close this terminal i open terminal again and then i'm going to look for java first of all so i look for java for checking java i write java and version so i'm working on version 1.8.0 underscore 99 and if i if you would like to know the location of your java so i write where is java so it will give you the location of your java where the java has been stored so that's it means the java has already been uh, already been stored now what i want is i want to configure java i would i would like to set the environment path for my java and to set the environment path i pass a command sudo because for this you need you should have a super user permission so i write sudo get it slash etc slash profile it will ask for a password so i provide the password for super user and then as you can see here i have already configured a java path java home user lib jvm J, java 1.8.0 open jdk amd 64 bin export java home path is equal to dollar path colon dollar java home and export path once you're done with this save it close it and then we need to pass a command here to execute it and that command is dot slash etc slash profile that's to execute the file 
and then if I want to find out whether the path has been updated or not or the, or the environment variable has been set so I write echo dollar path and from here I can see the Java has been installed the Java has been configured successfully and it has been set so we have user lib Java and the bin folder because the Java C state uh, the Java C compiler we have under bin folder so I, I tested Java C version so Java C 1.8.09 so that's the Java version next I'm going to do is I'm going to store the Java uh, I'm sorry I'm going to store the maven on my root directory so I click on users under local I create a Java folder and within Java I have copy paste the Apache Maven Apache Maven so that's the uh, that's one way to uh, that's one way to download and configure Java, uh, Apache Maven but it's not yet configured we need to set the environment path for Apache Maven in our term in, in our in our configuration file in our environment file so again I pass a command for open it and here I'm going to set the path for work for Maven so I set the path as M2 is equal to sorry, M2 underscore home is equal to slash USR slash look at the location so the location is USR slash local slash Java so USR slash local so I specify here us local dot local slash Java Apache 3.3.9 and then I'm going to export it so I write export m2 underscore home after that I need to set the path as well so I set the path is equal to path dollar path colon dollar m2 underscore home slash uh, bin and then I'm going to export this path Once I'm done with this I'm going to save it. So I simply click on save It will save it and then I close it So I close it once I close this I need to save it so it will save the file and then close the profile the environment file Saving and close it. After that, we need to execute that batch file. So I write specify command slash etc slash profile. And if there is no error, no syntactical error, it will successfully run and uh, now we can test the path so I have pass a command slash echo dollar path and from here I would be able to see that the Apache has been configured successfully along with the bin folder because within bin we have the executable file the MVN file which will be requiring to compile or to execute a command to exit to create a new project so once it is done successfully now let's go and check what's the version of MVN we will be working on so in order to check that I pass command MVN hyphen version and if everything is okay we can have a look so you can see the MVN version so I'm we are working on Apache Maven 3.3.9 version so that's the this is one of the way to set up MVN on Linux operating system there is another way to set up Linux and that way is we can pass a command and that command is sudo apt get apt hyphen get install maven and as soon as you press enter uh, this will automatically download the maven from the specific position 
and it will set up a maven automatically on the operating system so if you are not sure about which version you will be going to use and if you don't want to follow the previous step which we have done we can use a simple statement sudo apt hyphen get install maven and this will install maven on the current operating system or your current development system so that's all in this video i hope you found this video interesting and meaningful if you think so you can press like button you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos on devops queries you can write to us on bisp training short form keep watching have a nice day goodbye